Hello and welcome to another makeup video. It's been a hot second since I posted my last makeup video, but I had this idea in my head for a Valentine's Day look and I normally don't do holiday related makeup unless it's for Halloween uh, because capitalism. But I had this idea and I wanted to run with it because I thought it would be kind of cool and more artistic um, that, and I haven't done that in a while for more like messy artistic looks. So yeah, this is not going to be a tutorial, this is more just a process video, but let's get into it. As you can see, my right eye is already done because I did that side first to kind of figure out how I was going to pull this off. So for this, I focused on just building the shadows up one by one and creating that wing shape that I wanted. So I started with the lighter pale pink and then I went in with a purple shade to pack on the color and then I go back and forth with different blending brushes to just blend out the edges and get the desired shape that I want. And then I also bring the two shadows that I'm using on my inner corner and I kind of blend it up into my eyebrow to create this blown out effect. And then I go in with a Danessa Myricks Color Fix Pigment, which kind of freaked me out when I used it on my other side because that stuff sets quickly. So over this side, I kind of laid down the color first and then quickly went in with a different blending brush to blend out the edges a bit to, you know, get the desired wing shape that I was going for. And I go back and forth, kind of just like using any other shadow to just blend out the edges. And then I take a different Danessa Myricks Color Fix Pigment, which is called, it's like a plum shade, and I put that on my inner lid, and then I take the same purple and do that, you know, blown out effect over my eyebrow and stuff. And then I'm just cleaning up the edges more, looking at myself in the mirror, figuring out where I need to tweak some things, and going back and forth. And then I take a kind of shimmery pink and put that over my lid. And now I'm popping on some eyeliner. Got black on my top lid and a metallic gold on my waterline, on the lower lash line. Then always got to put on some highlighter. Never forget the highlighter, it's always so important. Now I'm taking the same plum color that I used on my eye and I'm also putting it on my lip because I wanted it to match and then I just lined my lips to clean it up a bit. So for the neck, I used the same two Danessa Myricks Color Fix pigments that I used on my eyes and I also put them on my neck and uh, these bad boys stay on. So it was a little difficult getting it off afterwards, but for the neck, I'm kind of just winging it, being real messy, just plopping the colors on, kind of like paint strokes. Actually, it's, it's more like a patchwork. It kind of ended up looking like a patchwork. And because these two shades are rather dark, the purple has a bit of a shimmer to it, but the plum color is a matte. And because these two are a little dark, I wanted to add a little bit more dimension to the neck area. So I take a Kryolan uh, Aqua Color color, that's a light purple, and I add that to my patchwork neck to just change it up a bit. I wanted more dimension, make it look a little bit more interesting. Then I'm putting a gloss over my lips because I am going to go in with gold leaf. And this is kind of what 
snowballed into the Valentine's Day look, I just thought, what if I put gold leaf over my lips in the shape of a heart? And then this look was born. So that's what I did. And then I'm putting gold leaf in random parts all over my neck as well for continuity and to just continue the look down onto my neck. And I had to go in with some lash glue because the gold leaf was sticking more to my hand than to my neck because the uh, color fix pigments were pretty matte. So I had to get it to stick to something. So I used glue, well, lash glue. And I also want to put a bit of the gold leaf on my eyes. Then I'm going in with a glitter because who doesn't love glitter? So I just put a pop of this on my inner corners and a little bit on my eyelid. And even though I have been doing these makeup looks for over two years now, I still, for the life of me, cannot put on fake lashes, so forgive me. And this is the finished look. This is really fun. I haven't done something this like freeing in a while, I guess you could say. I used to do a lot of this kind of messy textured painterly type of looks a lot and I want to go back to that because I, I find it fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Sometimes it's nice to show the process for my more artistic looks that I post on Instagram. So I hope you enjoyed. Bye.